So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and record a phone call on your iPhone. Now, doing this is actually fairly basic and it really does not take too much time at all. The very first thing you're going to have to keep in mind though is that you will have to be on iOS 18.1 or above in order to do this. So to get started, what you're going to want to do is you want to go and make your way over into your settings application, scroll down until you see general, which is right here, and go and click on software update and all you're going to want to do is software update your iPhone. So update your iOS version to iOS 18.1. Now, once you've done this, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and call somebody. So call the person that you want to go and basically just want to go ahead and record the phone call with. You can try it out and test it with somebody else if you want to. And when you go and make that phone call, what's going to happen is that you're going to come into a panel that looks something like this, right? I think everyone's kind of seen this, and this is a screenshot of the panel. What you're going to notice is in the top left corner, you're going to see this recording option, which is right here. So you'll see your screen as you normally would, but in the top left corner, you'll see the screen recording, like whatever this little option is. This is your recording toggle. So all you're going to have to do, right, is to tap onto that toggle right there, and it will go and prompt a little prompt at the very bottom right here, and it will say this call will be recorded. So then all it's going to do, right, it's going to go through and start recording the phone call. So as you can see, you'll have this little panel that comes up in the center right here, it's going to give a prompt that it's recording, so it'll be set on both sides. You cannot secretly record, it's going to make a statement. And then you can just go through and use this as a recording. And this recording will then be saved either in your voice memos app or your notes application if you have it transcribed. So if you're getting it transcribed, it's going to come inside of your notes app or it should come under voice memos, but it's going to be basically the same exact thing. So that's basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.